Hi guys, I just wanted to share a small thing I found out at Fusion 360. So I have these sketches here and I did a revolve surface in two sizes and I want to fill this gap here but I want the inside to be hollow. So what is the easiest way to do this? Because I don't want to fill the bottom and if you try to uh, I'm just going to remove them so you can see. So I want to uh, make a surface on the top and bottom of these spaces between. So how do you do that? Well, you could try to use patch there, but then it will just patch that one up. So if you select that one and that one and try to patch, it does the same thing. It patches the whole top surface. Now how do you get just a patch on this? So what you do is you select this line and you select the inner line and you go to create, you have to be in surface mode, you go to create loft. Then you make a loft as a single line from here to there. Press OK and you want to do the same on the bottom one. <laughs> That's my little girl. I'm making a recording, girly girly. Hmm? Can you wait a little bit? Okay, and then you create a new loft from that one. And what you end up with now is you're closing the gap from the top to the bottom. Papa? And if you now do a patch, you can patch this, this, and you can patch this, and they all turn green. Uh, for some reason, this one is not patching up. Let me see. Something about this space is not right. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know how to easily uh, make that uh, work. Let's go to this. You can select the bodies and patch. The reason I had it was I think I had selected the wrong one. Okay, so this is the result. And then you can do a uh, modify. Uh, yeah, you can just do a stitch. Okay. And now you have a solid object. So inside it's actually hollow still, but it now created a solid object out of those. So just wanted to show that. I'm just going to make a screenshot. Papa? Yeah. Hmm? Them? It's a USB stick. Huh? Sorry, my girl is just playing with my computer. <laughs> okay, thank you guys.